Hey guys, this is Jared from Transformational Coaching. Action is transformation. Guys, in this piece, I'm gonna share with you my own journey from disempowerment to empowerment, from lack of confidence and lack of self-esteem in certain areas to full of confidence and full of self-esteem in those certain areas that I wanted to improve. But before I get into that, I just wanna make a brief here. Guys, whatever it is that you're trying to do out there in the world, you're gonna have a low self-esteem or a lack of confidence or a lack of empowerment in when you first start it. It's like that for everything. It's like that for driving, uh, learning to walk as a child. If you look back at your life and look at every single activity that you did, it was an activity that you didn't feel good about. It didn't feel good doing it because you were new at doing it. So in this video, I'm gonna just share with you a little bit of my own story and my own process through that in the various stages of my own life and how to shift your focus from yourself to what it is that you wanna create in the world and how you can show up and give and offer service to others. Because that's what it's really, really about. It's not about you, it's about the service or the work and, and your gift and the value that you have to offer to the world. So, I'm gonna share with you my past, my problems, and my solution. So a lot of us, when we start something, we play small. We keep our lights dim on purpose because we don't feel fully confident in, in what it is that we're doing. We don't wanna rock the boat too much. We don't wanna put ourselves out there. We don't wanna to play too big too quickly because if we do, then we're worried we're gonna fall hard. And, we, and a lot of the times, uh, in the background, if we're starting something new, we might feel like an imposter. I know this is how I felt for many things in my life. You know, when I first started playing sports, and I'd never done a sport. I just went out there and I was I was a little worried and concerned that I wasn't gonna do it right or that I wouldn't look good. You know, I remember playing baseball and being worried about uh, showing up and thinking like, oh man, everyone probably thinks that I might you know not be good, uh, good enough if I show up really powerfully. Uh, so I played myself down. And so there was these subconscious thoughts about how other people were perceiving me or what they would be thinking about me if I did this action or that action. And that's really what happens in life. We allow our subconscious fears to control us in that manner. We allow these things to control our being and how we show up in life. We worry too much about what other people think of us, um, but that's really, it's an irrational fear. One, because most people don't really care what you're doing. <laughs> And that's a great thing. Most people are too focused on their own problems to care what it is that you're actually doing. And if people are really focused on what it is that you're doing, uh, then that's that's good. That means that you're actually putting yourself out there and doing more things in the world and showing up in a much more powerful, powerful way. So that's the first thing that I wanna share with you guys is if you feel like you're playing yourself down uh, because you're worried about what other people think of you, uh, that's okay, that's normal, that's to be expected whenever you start something new. However, shift your focus away from them and what they're thinking and shift your focus onto them. How can, how can you serve them? And that's, that's really the key here to empowerment. People think that they need to focus on themselves or their brand or their business uh, when they're starting something. You know, maybe you wanna create a business, maybe you wanna uh, share your voice with the world, maybe you wanna share your gift of playing a certain musical instrument. Whatever it is, the best and the quickest way to success, and this is what all the best businesses do, is they don't focus on themselves. They focus on serving the world. They focus on uh, disrupting the industry. They focus on how they can show up in a powerful way. Now there might be a small awareness of their brand and what it is that they're creating and their self image. You know That's why we have PR and stuff like that. But if you look at all businesses, when they first start off, they don't focus on their image. They just focus on, hey, we have a quality product. How can we get it out there in the marketplace? Or hey, I have a really good voice and I wanna share it with the world. But what happens is we worry too much about ourselves. And I'm just speaking from my own experience here. We worry too much about ourselves and 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 how we look towards others, what people will think of us. You know, when I first started my coaching work, and I'm, I'm, I'm always reaching out to people because I really know I'm good at this work and I'm really passionate about it. And I see the results in my clients. So what I would do is I reach out to everyone. I reach out to everyone where I feel like I, uh, there's a struggle, there's an internal struggle, or they just feel, you know, I see a person and I know that they can live a better life. I firmly believe that 
you can have whatever it is that you want in life, materialistically, but also uh, internally, spiritually. Uh, you can have fulfillment. You can have joy. You can create whatever it is that you want. I'm doing that r right now in my own life. And now I just want to do it for as many people as I can on the planet. That's like my biggest desire among all. It's like, how can I change as many people's lives and make them more joyous and more beautiful? How can I change people's lives to make them uh, experience a life that they never thought they could imagine in their mind, in their being, but also in their external world, like materialistically what it is that they're creating for themselves. So that's why I'm passionate about this work because I see how I show up and then I see the results that I get with the people that I'm working with and I just want to I just want to expound on that because it gives me joy and it gives me me uh, peace and happiness and fulfillment. So whatever it is that you want to share with the world, whether it's a business or a product or your voice, your talents, uh, don't dim yourself down. Only brighten yourself up. A lot of us dim ourselves down because we we, we say uh, we don't want to rock the boat too much or we're worried about what other people will think of us. Look, if you really believe in what it is that you're doing, if you really believe in your product, your service, if you believe in your talent and, and you're really passionate about it, then it doesn't matter what other people think. It doesn't matter um, the haters and the naysayers that you might think about or worry about what they'll say or do. Like it doesn't matter. Like your your service and what you have to offer is so much bigger than your own worries and fears and concerns for your own self image. And that's really what it comes down to is the service that you offer and that you bring into the world is way more important than your own self image. So forget about the self image, uh, forget about what other people might be thinking or doing for you. Anytime they show up, anytime those doubts and fears show up and you want to play small and get small again because of what you, what you think others might be perceiving you as, uh, let that voice go. See the voice, recognize the voice, and then reshift it and focus to how you can make a person's life better with whatever it is that you're offering to the world. As you do that shift and you make that a daily mental habit, you'll start seeing that you just get brighter and brighter. You get more confident. You empower yourself. Disempowerment comes from thinking about yourself too much. Empowerment comes from thinking about others more and how you can serve them and change their life with whatever it is that you have to offer to the world. Focus on that. That's the key. Shift your focus away from yourself and onto the people that you want to serve and to the people's lives you want to change with whatever it is that you have to offer. Thanks for joining me, guys. That's all I got for this time. Guys, check out my five key secrets to transformation. It's right there below in the YouTube description box. Also, guys, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to reach out. Have a great day. Thank you.